Business is full of ups and downs, so it helps to have a flexible way to pay. Try Business Essentials from O2 Business, the most flexible business tariff around. Hey guys, welcome to BTEC. My name is Basil and this is the Huawei Matebook, just announced here at Mobile World Congress. It's not actually a book, it's really a tablet with an attachment, a lot like the newly announced Samsung tab at CES and the um, um, iPad Pro. It's a really, really elegant, nice tablet running full windows like the Samsung device. Um, it's got a 12 inch uh, IPS display, as you can see, really, really tiny bezels. It Picking it up feels rich in the hand and that's because it's an all metal design. You've also got any eagle eyes, full windows on here. It runs with a Core M chipset, um, so packs Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Professional, depending on the variant you go for. Now, this thing isn't just the tablet, it's an entire ecosystem of accessories and stuff. You've got a micro USB Type-C to the right-hand side. I'm not gonna unplug it in fear of triggering an alarm, um, but I've also got a fingerprint scanner. It's the first PC device to have a touch fingerprint scanner as found on smartphones. Volume buttons are what appear to be volume buttons above them. Up at the top is that power button. Stereo speakers. You've also got dual microphones. On the other side, you've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now this thing also supports noise canceling headphones as well. Down at the base, it's a magnetic dock connector and that will just clip straight onto the base as easy as pie. Picking up the keyboard, you can see the kind of style you've got here. This is a splash and water resistant keyboard. Um, it's not going to be submergible, but I mean, it's going to be a step in the right direction, especially when you look at Sony devices like the BKB, which didn't even have that. If I was to figure out a way to open it or close it up, the folio case available in four colors, one white one in the background, as you can see being pushed in the way. Um, this is a black one feels really yeah it feels really elegant bit of give slim i can imagine definitely walking around uh, with this and how easy is it to open out well i'm always really tentative when i have things like this because i don't want to break it but let's see there you go that wasn't too hard for a first time effort the screen's incredibly bright 400 nits looks great if i was to drop the brightness you can see the gradation of brightness the standard windows 25 percent increments the performance well it's too early to tell the core um, m process is available it's sixth generation with either four gig of ram for the lower variants the core m3 for the core m5 and the core m7 the core m7 clock will up 3.1 gigahertz you'll get eight gig of ram on this thing I'm not even done. It's just 6.9 millimeters thin, reeling off a few of the specs. Um, in addition, you can also, with that fingerprint scanner, have a different finger for every account um, in Windows 10. So that could be a different user profile, which is pretty sweet going. Next up, we've got the Mate Pen. Now, this is a laser pointer. It's a pressure sensitive pen up to 2048 degrees of pressure sensitivity. And it's also a clicker for presenting presentation meetings from. Also pretty sweet. You can also pick up this little accessory right here. And this is a VGA out, HDMI out, USB type C out and in as well. And two USB ports and an ethernet connector too. It's just looking incredibly sweet as a package all together. The pricing um, will be much more reflective of the kind of lower core M spec. Although it isn't cheap by any means, you'll be able to pick one of these up from $700 right through to $1,500 if you are in the US. Um, if you wanna check out European pricing, um, then the official pricing can be found in the description below. Ultimately though, on first impression, I really like the look of this thing. I would love, love, love to get one uh, in for real world use, test it out. One thing I didn't mention, it's got over 4,000 milliamps under the hood and should get you around 10 hours of battery life. The fact it charges my micro USB or USB type C, sorry, also means if you have a USB-C phone, you will only need one charger. It also feels a lot like the Ascend um, or the Huawei Mate 8. Um, Huawei's clearly got this all metal design language and they are running with it. What do you guys think? If you've got any questions about it, fire them below. If you like this video, click like, and if you like BTEC, subscribe. That's how you'll stay on top of everything we do. Thanks for watching.